As a kid, I loved singing and making people laugh. Now, here I was, an actor in New York City. Uh, thank you very much. If that's all we need to see today. I had this teacher who said to me once, you'll not make it one day in this business unless you develop thick skin. Well, it's tough enough having black skin. It's gotta be thick too. While I was waiting for my skin to thicken, I pounded that hard ass pavement. This white lady comes up to me and says, you're a very talented young man. I bet you do a great step and fetch it imitation. I bet you I don't do a great step and fetch it imitation. I bet you you could. I bet you I won't. Now, now, young man, don't get offended. After all, he was famous. Hell, so was Hitler, but we ain't celebrating. Well, I'm sorry. We're looking for a tall, good-looking black man. I realized that I bullshitted my whole life and God was getting back at me. I'm step and fetch it. Oh, and I bet you thought I was dead, huh? Well, every now and then, we have to come back and wake up, folks. What the hell was that about? Come out, come out, wherever you is. Step and fetch it embarrassed me. Come out, come out, wherever you am. If I was white, would I be getting bigger and better roles? Or am I not all that good? In fact, Hollywood was more segregated than Georgia at the start of the Civil War. I understand things haven't changed very much. Maybe everything I went through my whole life was to bring me to this moment right now. I opened the doors for a lot of folks to follow through. I was the first Negro movie star. If people can forget their problems by watching me perform, that's a damn good reason to get up in the morning. Here I was thinking it was to keep my therapist in business.